Hello, this is Claude, and uh, today I'm uh, doing a video about uh, RGB headers uh, on motherboard, on gaming motherboards, where you have addressable RGB headers, uh, usually 5 volts or uh, 12 volts, uh, regular RGB headers, all right? Uh, and the question today, or the video today, is to answer a question that I received uh, from uh, a, uh, a viewer. And I am going to, uh, there you go, I'm going to answer the question and the question is by i play the best games and the question is uh, on my strix b 550f it says that the maximum power rating is uh, 3 amps at uh, 5 volts uh, output uh, but then says the addressable header on this board can handle a combined maximum of 500 leds uh, doesn't that conflict with the power rating uh, would 500 leds uh, pull way more power it says this directly in the manual so what am i missing thanks all right, uh, I play the best games. Uh, first of all, that's one of the best questions that I've had in a long time. It uh, clearly shows uh, your understanding of the topic. And the answer is, and I'm going to show you why, and the answer is uh, yeah, 500, no way, no way. Uh, you are not missing anything. Uh, the math is the math, all right? So uh, if you stick to the math, uh, it's easy to understand. So I, that's what I'm going to try to show right now real quick, all right? Uh, so uh, I am going to show, I've got right now, uh, let me see since I've got the screen on, uh, I'm going to show the page of the uh, your motherboard, the B550F Gaming. Uh, that's the uh, page 15. Uh, it's got the addressable uh, RGB uh, port, Gen 2, 5 volt data, nothing, and then ground, all right? And this is what it says. It, it supports WS2812B, addressable RGB lights. Uh, LED strips, uh, 5 volt data ground with the max uh, power rating of 3 amps, 5 volt, and, and the addressable header on this board can handle a combined maximum of 500 LEDs. Hmm, that's a lot, all right? So uh, let's uh, see something, all right? The WS12B, uh, all right? So let's go see uh, WS2812B, all right? I've got this, uh, that, that's the data sheet right here, all right? Uh, so this is uh, what it says. It's got the little IC uh, integrated circuit as well uh, in, the, in the chip. This is the little black part that you see when you uh, look at the chip from uh, close. Uh, this is the pinout. Uh, voltage is actually 3.5 to 5.3. That's correct. Uh, as you can see with the pinout, uh, VDD drain, and then SS, SS is source. Uh, so that's basically voltage in, voltage out data in data out and when you look at a uh, an rgb strip uh what it looks like it's it does that so you got the voltage going in and then you've got the data going in data going out and then going into the other one and then out then into the other one and so on right so this is how it works uh, so it clearly sh says that yeah they're five they're rated five volts but it doesn't say the uh the input uh, excuse me the uh current draw all right, and that's what we're going to look at. It says it input current, yeah, plus or minus one mu amp or whatever it's called. Uh, this is not uh, milliamp. This is mu or whatever it's called at the at the at that lower level. Uh, plus or minus one, misleading. Uh, I'm going to show you. So the calculation, and let me show you. Ohm's law says power equals I e. Uh, I is the current in amps, and E is the voltage. Uh, all right, uh, so that's power in watts is the current in amps and voltage in volts. So once you do that, once you got the power rating of a strip, you can calculate after that, and the voltage is 5 volts. You can always calculate uh, with a very basic math. All right, so if I look at this, all right, this uh, is something that I purchased from AliExpress. It's all WS 2812B as per the manual uh, of the um, Asus motherboard. All right, and this, I've connected this already. There's only this little strip. I've got 10 LEDs, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So whatever I got, I, I so through the circuit to calculate the uh, the current uh, 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 draw, uh, you need to put the uh, your meter in line with the circuit. So that's what I've done. And uh, so it goes through here. So if you see the calculation, it's calculated here. And these are rated at about 25 uh, according to AliExpress sheet, there it tells you the power rating for one meter at 60 LEDs. If you do the calculation, it gives you about 25 to 30, uh, you know, uh, about 25 or, or 30. 
all right, uh, milliamps. So if I look at this, it's 221 milliamp divided by uh, 10, because I've got 10 of them, it's 22. Uh, depending on the color, if you got full uh, white, full intensity, it's gonna be closer to 27. So uh, yeah, that's about uh, 30 milliamps is gonna be the maximum, all right? But there, if you look at the average, 22, 25 is the number that you're gonna look at, all right? So these are those that are sold by ASUS, all right? And if you look at the ASUS website, and I'm gonna go back to my screen, and if you look at the uh, website for uh, Asus, from Asus for their LED, all right, it says, all right, if you have uh, 30 of them, and this one is 15, so that's a 15 piece. 15 piece says the power consumption is 4.5 watts. All right, 4.5 watts, it's fine. 4.5 watts divided by 5 volts is a 0.9 times 1,000 equals that, divided by, we said 15, it gives me 60. Now we've got, let's do that. Let's go back here. I just connected those, all right? I had to do a little inverter cable here to reverse polarity because it's different than this strip. So, uh, okay, so uh, if I look at this, now we're seeing 322, 321 milliamp by 15, 22, all right, 22, all right. So now we've got 22, so it's confirmed. We've got, and depending on the color scheme, because green, red, and blue take different uh, amp requirements, current requirements, so the average is going to be different. If you've got full white, full pop, 255 on everything at full intensity, uh, you're going to get to about 30, all right, uh, milliamps. So let's do that. Let's switch here. Let's go back here, and let's go see. I've got the little uh, a spreadsheet. Uh, 3,000 milliamps, which is 3 amps, all right, that's the header. Uh, the voltage of the header is five volts. Uh, and then the current draw, that's, we're gonna put how much? So this one, these two strips that I have shown here, all right, these two strips are at 25 per LED, 25, all right? So if I do the calculation, I've got uh, 25, how many can I put? 120. All right, I can put the maximum of 120 LEDs, usually at 60 LEDs per meter. This is what they come at. Uh, you could put two meters of that, all right? So uh, this is, uh, and then that's the power draw, all right? This is, you know, forget about that. It's relevant, all right? Uh, so um, yeah, so that's 120 that you could put. But this is why it says sometimes, oh, 500. Why 500 is because not everything is born equal. Not all LEDs are born equal. And I'm gonna show you uh, last thing here about another one here, and this is uh, Inolux, the same thing I, I see on the LED. Uh, also, same dimensions, uh, four pin, all that good stuff, uh, five volts, all right, uh, 3.5 to five, same thing, all right, equivalent. But look at this, they've got two models. One has got a lower intensity, for the red, you can see it's about three times more. On the other side, if you take the average 150, eh, all right, 450, it gets in the range, all right? So depending on the one, there's a, a different factor. So this is the full intensity. If we look at this, these have 12 milliamps. Oh, 12 milliamps. So if I take this one instead of the WS2812B, uh, uh, if I take these instead, uh, and then we said they were at 12 milliamps, then at 12 milliamps, I could have 250, all right, LEDs, all right? Now let's see. If I take the other one, the five milliamps, all right, these, if I take this small, lower intensity, even if I'm at full brightness on my uh, Aura software, uh, let's do that. If I've got 5 milliamps, then I could put up to 600. So this is why, you know, they tell you, uh, 550. All right, this is if it would be 5 milliamps. The the one that they recommend, the WS2812B, I've just showed it to you, gives you about 30, all right, or 25 on average. So uh, let's do that. It's a little over-engineered. Uh, 25 on average, uh, you, know, the, the, you know, then you would be at 120. To the question here, I play the best games. Uh, am I missing nothing? You're absolutely uh, right. You're not missing anything. Uh, and the uh, final answer is not all LEDs. LEDs are born equal. If you got Ohm's law, uh, P power equals the IE uh, intensity or the current times the, the voltage. Uh, all right, then uh, you do the math and then you can get that if you know the specification of your LED. So uh, 500 is a big uh, number, 120, stay within 120 uh, and then everybody's gonna be happy, all right? Uh, so uh, if you do that, if you stay within 120, 
uh, which is the that WS2812B uh, rating at 25 on average milliamp, then you will be fine. So uh, great question. Thanks for the question. And I hope that this explanation and also with the multimeter has helped you guys. If I'm helping you, uh, if the content is interesting, please put a like on the, uh, on the video. It really helps me and uh, consider subscribing. All right. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.